to do something different today. Kerbal Space Program. Gonna start a new career. Um, ape like aerospace. Okay, I'm gonna pick a flag for this. I got this flag right here, custom made. You can make your own flag. This represents our culture here for my people, my Kerbals. All right, I'm gonna play this. Uh, it's almost sandbox the way I play this. It's a career mode, um, but I but I afford myself a lot of things to advance progress with building. Um, I'm st I still have to do the missions. I still have to actually make the craft and land it in the places and perform the, the mission uh, specs and stuff. But, I, but I, I'm pretty forgiving. And the way I do this is, okay, I do not allow reverting flights. Um, actually, no, I do allow re reverting flights. Uh, quick loading is fine. Um, missing crew respawn. I don't want that. Crew, when they're gone, they're gone. There are a couple things that I do in my settings here that are going to be much harder than original. Um, indestructible facilities, I do want that because, uh, you know, shit's going to hit the building. Um, stock vessels, I do not want that. I'm going to make all my own stuff. Uh, persist Kerbal Inventory Loadout. I think this means that every Kerbal will get the same loadout. I don't, I don't know about all that. I'm just going to leave it alone. Allow other launch sites. I'm going to do no, and there's a reason for that. Um, we'll get into this other stuff. Reheat, re re enter, reheat entry, 100%. That's what it is, normally is. Resource abundance. I'm going to keep that normal. Um, I do want the comm network on, but there's going to be a caveat to that here. We'll get to it in a second. Um, starting funds, 25,000. Starting science, starting reputation. Now, here's where I start to really beef things up. I'm going all the way a thousand percent with this, a thousand percent with funds, uh, science, and reputation. And I'm going to have no penalties, no reputation penalties, and no decline penalties. And in this regard, this becomes kind of sandbox like because my science is going to advance really fast. Things are going to unlock really fast. And I'll be able to afford to buy things like missing Kerbals and stuff like that. Um, so in that regard, it becomes kind of sandbox. Now we're going to get into the things that are a little bit more technical. Uh, enable a Kerbal experience. Yes, absolutely. We want to level them up. And we want them to level up when they get back home, not when they're out there. Um, no allowing of negative funds. Pressure uh, pressure part limits. No part. Uh, none of this stuff because, you know, um, Crossfeed, I might want to do. I don't want to always allow. I, I want these things to be unlocked. Um, part upgrade. Require a signal for control. Yes. And disable extra ground stations. This is where the difficulty is really going to come into play here. Meaning that I will not be able. To, I will have to have a Kerbal in anything that ends up out of sight of, of KSP. And this will force me into developing a satellite network of some sort. And that's kind of, you know, it's it's a way of, you know, enforcing your gameplay of, of, of saying early on that, you know, communication systems are going to be an important part of what I have, whatever I do. I'm going to have to, separate from the questing system, I'm going to have to set up some kind of uh, satellite system. So I think those are the settings that I'm going to use right there is just like that. Um, no extra ground stations. The only one we have is KSP. So I'm going to hit accept. Ape-like aerospace is ready to go. Whoa, that ambiance is really loud. I got to turn it down a little bit. Let me make, let me make sure my levels. I'm going to look in here. Make sure that my talking is coming in higher than the game. Okay, it is. Thanks, I got it. Gene, Gene Kerman. Because the first thing I want to do is I need to get some money going. So, um, launch our first vessel. This is going to be one we want. Um, we'll take that one. And that one. 
And I think that collecting those two has given me enough to maybe up maybe upgrade. Yeah, I could upgrade this and take all of these. Which has given me more money, and now I can upgrade this, upgrade this, um, definitely want to upgrade this. Tracking station's probably good. Yeah, we're going to go all the way with that one, all the way with that one, yeah. And you know what? We're going to go all the way with this one, too. Okay, 75,000 to do our first quest, which is... What quest do we have to do? We, have, we just have to do something off the launch pad. Right now, we don't have any science, so we have no need to look into the science tree. So, just something simple right off the bat. We'll throw down a command pod. Um... Definitely do want our flag to show. This, this flag is, yes, ape like aerospace. There it is. And we also got it back here on this wall back there. That looking good. All right. Got to spread our message to the universe. All right. The first thing we need to do is we need to get some science off the. We can do this really cheap. Um, make sure we got a Kerbal in here. Uh, do we have any science stuff available to us? Just the mystery goo. I'm not even going to bother with that, that right now. I'm just going to launch this untitled spacecraft and do a crew report really quickly just to satisfy that quest. You can click on here, find crew report, crew report, 15 science. Keep experiment. Recover vessel. There, we got 15 science and our we got our contracts completed there. Um, yeah, got 64,000 cash off of that. Gathered our science, got some cash and science off of that. And, uh, yeah. All right, now now that we've got a little bit of science, let's uh, go in here and get some of the basic things we're going to need to actually go better with this. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. I don't know why this isn't making clicking sounds. It should have the stuff turned up for this. All right, that's all we can really afford to do right now. Go in here to the vehicle assembly building. Oh, you know what? Uh, before we do that, let's uh, check the quest board because we, we did one. Maybe new stuff popped up and it did not. So our next one is we got to launch something. And we'll do that. We're going to get our first launch here. So we'll actually name this vessel. That looks better with the flag. Um, this is going to be ALA-1 for just because, ALA-1, ape-like aerospace-1, you know, the generic. All right, um, we need a booster. I'm going to get a separator. Some parachutes. Um, they're down here in the utilities. You know what? That's going to be... This is a... This is a regular parachute, right? These are draw chutes. These are regular. I'm going to put a couple of these on here. You can use your X button to do the symmetry down there. I like to... I want to create... Uh, duplicate on both sides here, I think. Get 
that. Um, set, separate the staging. Okay, I want this one to be the last one to go. And then put that there. Okay, so the drone shoots go and then that one goes after this goes. Staging is important for your little rockets. And I'm going to go with a little small something or other just to get a launch going. Um, we don't have anything to hold it in place. Who's going to be our first? You know, it's got to be Jebediah. He's going to be the first to launch. Um, separate the stages here, obviously. So that'll burn out. Another thing you want to watch now is your thrust to weight ratio. Now you can you can adjust. This is a solid, solid fuel uh, rocket, meaning I cannot adjust its thrust in flight. But what I can do is adjust its thrust pre-flight. And you go in here and you have it show uh, the, the stage information. And you can see that the thrust to weight ratio on this is six, six times higher than it needs to be. We can get that all the way down to two. And um, just by dropping this thrust limit and... Uh, See, we dropped it down to 1.93. That's much more respectable. And it's going to blast for a full 29 seconds, which is going to give us a good, good launch. But um, I like a little bit lower, actually. I like like one and a half, something like that, 1.6, because I don't want it to be too jolting off the start. Um, that's at altitude. We want to show the sea level. And in vacuum, which I don't intend to reach vacuum, it would be 1.9 on the thrust. But this is what we're looking at right here is the thrust to weight ratio, <clears throat> meaning that there's going to be enough thrust to lift 1.61 of these. So anything over a one right here will get this thing to lift, but you want it to lift and get through the atmosphere fairly fast. Like, and that's where you start looking at things like altitude. You can put this at 10K. And you can see that um, that the thrust to weight becomes a lot closer to vacuum at that point. And 10K is really what you want to shoot for. If, if Once you get above 10K, that's when you can start doing your orbital turns and all that, which we're not going to get into. We're just launching this out to, out to the sea here with the basic uh, whatever. Um, do I have the ability to do action things? Um, I do. Custom... I like to do like the last one here. I'm going to put, click on the, the pod and I'm going to add crew report because that's the only science one. So now if I hit the zero button, it's going to do a crew report. So I don't have to actually click on the, the um, pod or whatever. I think we're ready to launch this. Let's save it. I think we got everything we need. Um, yeah. We'll see what happens here. It's been a long time. This is, I haven't played this game in a couple years, so um, let me try to remember the controls. I think R was for RCS, T was for SAS, which I don't need. No, I, I need the SAS, I don't need RCS. So T, yes, R, no. Um, my controls are going to be WASD. D to tap over toward the ocean there. Um, what I want to do is up my thrust, and that can be done with the Z button, which will go maximum, or it can also be done with the shift and control to control what degree of thrust. thrust. None of that matters. The moment I hit launch on the space bar, this is going to blast out at 100% thrust, which it, in this case is actually 30% of what the capability of this thruster can do. but. We'll see. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna launch it. Let's go, Jebediah. First uh, science mission. And then I uh, start tilting over toward the ocean here. You don't want to tilt too far. But that stability control I have is gonna do good. But I do definitely want to hit the water. I don't want to come down anywhere on land with this because I don't have any, you know, protection on the bottom of this. I think this will definitely clear the water here. You just keep going like this until your thrust runs out. You 
and you pop your second one. Now you want to kind of get toward a retrograde here to where you, you know, get the wind resist, atmospheric resistance against the bottom of this, slow you down. My surface speed is enough that I can pop my drogue chutes now, and that will uh, pretty much slow me like a rock, and I'm going to do it right here at 5,000 meters. Drogue chutes. And I'm, I'm doing that by hitting the space bar. The space bar ac activates the staging down here. And I'm just trying to keep my my uh, directional aim uh, right on the, the retrograde. When those chutes open up, I will activate my second one, which uh, is that. That's actually going to pop open at a thousand meters. And um, I believe I can use the... What is it? F1 and F2 to speed up time or something like that? I forget because I know the number keys are bound to the action bars, so... No, F1 hides the... F2 hides the screen. What is the speed for time? Settings. There are controls in here. Huh. I think I have to go to the space station to actually mess with those controls. I don't know what buttons it are to. I don't remember. It's there's something to speed up the time and slow down the time. Maybe it was the. Oh yes, it was the arrow keys. The not the comma and the period go up and down. Like I can go faster up to four speed. But I'm 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 not gonna not gonna do a whole lot of time advancement if, until we get to you know outer space stuff because uh, I want to get the full experience of this. You know, this is my first launch of ape-like aerospace, Jebediah Kerman. I think we can go inside, too. Um, I don't want to do an EVA right now. That would be a bad news. But I can go view and um, look at things, look at things, look at the sky. How do I get out of this again? C button? Yeah, C button. I remembered that one. I played this a lot back in the day. I just I haven't played it in a good year, you know, maybe more. I know that Kerbal Space Program 2 is out, and I intend to check that out at some point, but I'm going to let them work out the bugs. and I, I don't know what bugs there are. It might be fantastic right now. But all I know is I really love this game. This game is, I don't know, it's incredibly immersive mentally. It's... Nothing is more rewarding in any of the I, I I've played so many types of games, and I've, I'm 50 years old. This is not hyperbole. Nothing has ever been more satisfying in any game than that first time I returned return from the month. I to complete that whole mission, the planning of the you know the ship that's going to land and and how it's going to take back off and get him back home. And and then there were problems. I I I did I got back off the moon the moon. I was in orbit of the Mun, but I ran out of fuel to actually get escape, to get a planned escape that would get me back within Earth orbit, and even then I I wasn't going to be able to come down, so I had to I had to plan a second mission and go up and rescue this guy, and it was it was just so fantastic the whole thing because it to me it was a, a successful, I flew to the Mun landed got back with the, the guy and did not lose a guy and I was so friggin stoked by that it's just incredibly rewarding this is when you accomplish things in this it, it's rewarding now I can uh, I can I never did do the crew report did I I can probably do it right now from the curb and waters keep experience 
um, EVA. Can I do a surface sample here? Take a surface sample. Keep experience. Um, I can do an EVA report from out here. Keep experiment. Hit the B button to board. That should give us a bunch of nice little science. Um, recover vessel. All right, we got some science to play with now. The goal here is, is to get the science up to the point where you can make a little rover, and then you get the rover to drive around to all these. Every one of these is considered a biome in itself. The hangar, mission control, astronaut complex. And you take this little science rover and drive around to each one of these, performing all the key, key experience or experiments, and you get so much experience or uh, science off that that you can actually unlock a large part of this tree, and that's that's where this becomes kind of sandbox. But you still have to do things, you know, like the the communication thing is going to become uh, something I'm going to have to deal with in space, you know, that it's. I want science stuff, and they did change some of these trees. All right, stability control is good. Because I'm going to have to upgrade these launches here a little bit. I don't know what this experiments. This experiments kit came late when a thing, and I never, I never got into that. And this too, um, mobile science stuff. Not really familiar with all that stuff, or the robotic stuff for that matter. Um, get some lights. Electricity. I don't have enough to get that. I want to get to this as fast as possible because this makes launching everything off the, the, the platform so much easier because you can control its positioning. And this will just be nice for a little bit more rocket and a little more rocket. All right. Um, so we got some science. Let's go in here. All right. We got new stuff. Um, Actually, let's uh, max out this building so we can take as many of those as we want. Okay, research and development's upgraded. Oh, what the hell. So all these are fully upgraded, right? I don't need to do space the hangar there yet. And I don't really get into these right here. Um, later on, I will, you know, once you've got all the science, you start putting all the science toward, you know, money. But for now, um, wait, I didn't get contracts. All right. Um, I don't know where these places are on the map, and I wish there was an easier way to just click the map from right here. But if I remember, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. this is on the surface, alpha, beta, gamma. Um, above, I don't want these because these above ones require you to make a special kind of jet that I am not really good at making, but I'm going to try to make at some point, but I'm not going to be taking it right now. Uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. These, This right here is probably right around Kerbin. And I can find that out in here. Turn the planet over here. Yep. Yeah. 
Rocco Max, Rocco Max, Rocco Max. Those are all below. These are all above. Above, above, above. But these uh, below ones right here, I might be able to do. Rocco Max conglomerate. D. Rocco Max, I'm just trying to remember this. Rocco Max conglomerate DTL. Rocco Max conglomerate DTL. Oh, I'm going man. here and find that. That's this one, I think. Yep, it is. So in flight below these places, I need to do a crew report in each one of those spots. So this will, I'm going to take this and I'm going to try to make a jet that will do this. And then I can fly them around and bring them back. But I'm not going to do that contract right away. Um, haul a parachute. Flying curve. And these are sometimes kind of tricky and hard to... Like hitting these, being in the right speed to do this, is, it might be hard to do. But this one will be easier to do. I can just have a, a decoupler splash and then activate it. Um, so I'm going to take that one. In flight above, above, above. Those two aboves make me not want to do this one. Um, anything above. Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are all above. So I'm not going to do any of those. Um, or that one. Okay, where was this? I didn't see it in the map. So I gotta land somewhere over here to do it. Okay, okay. Down here? They're all down here. Yeah, I gotta fly all the way down there and land something. Do experiments and get that stuff back. That's going to be hard to do. Got here. Anyway, let's uh, get back to what we were at over here. Let's get uh, Ala 2 going, right? If you don't want something, you can just take it and drag it over here and drop it. Um, I like the parachutes on that one. Now, what is our goal on this next mission here? Um, oh, we got some science, don't we? We can... Uh, yeah, all right. I like doing my science this way, putting it inside a protected box rather than, you know, I've seen videos where people put stuff all over the outside of that and it's just like, eh, I don't know about that, you know, I'm not sure that that's how it would actually be done. Do they just stick instruments right on, you know, the goo thing hanging right off the side? I, I don't know. Um, I'm going to put, they make these cargo bays, I'm going to use it. Uh, get some science. Uh, first off, let's get some battery generation going. Then, uh, do we have a... What does this do? I want to see what kind of... Uh, just stability assist. That's it. It doesn't actually... Okay, get off there. Okay, you can uh, select an item and move it to precisely where you want. You can hit your C button to control whether or not it does it in increments or not. And I, I like to move these things kind of precise.
Alright. Science. She blinded me with science. She gave me some mystery goo. It's hard to get in here. Um, I want to go closer, doesn't it? I think it does go closer. I just can't quite get it. Um, C button helps in this case to lock the position. Then you can rotate with your... Uh, Is it E button? Yeah. Your A W A S D Q E all do rotates in different ways. I don't want that to hang out. C button. There we go, we got some mystery goo. C button again to make it lock into position. We can put it right there. There. A little bit of clipping is fine. In fact, clipping doesn't really have an issue, and you can you can clip the hell out of your ship. I try not. I try to do it in reasonable doses. You know, if I if I think that. If I think that it would reason, you know, that those two parts would reasonably work together in that amount of space, it's like, okay, I'll, I'll accept it. But if I wanted, if I wanted, I could throw everything in here, you know, I could put, you know, monopropellant. I could fill this thing up head to toe with all kinds of overlapping garbage. And that would just, uh, yeah, it'd be garbage. Um, one thing I do want to do is give this a little bit of uh, communication of some sort. Does that fit? I don't think it does. Maybe if I move it in. Still sticking out the side. How can I do this? Move it up. In. Uh, yeah, that that that's a little bit much. When it starts to like go all the way inside the thing, it's like that's as far as I could go, and it's still sticking out. So I just think that. That's just not the piece. Maybe this is. Um, C button to. This I'm kind of okay with sticking in a little bit because the you know enough of it is sticking out that it looks like it could be part of a thing you know that okay there's that um, we need a little bit of electrical generation just in case static panels wouldn't work we just a little bit more battery. are going to have to come in a little bit just because there, everything is enclosed okay now what you want to do is go in here to your, your action 
things and you set up your 10 is your science remember it's got your crew report so you also want to hit your goo um, toggle cover observe mystery goo because the you want it to open to be able to it's going to have to require that to be able to do the other one actually I don't think you need to do that I think you can just do observe mystery goo that should be enough um, then we want the log pressure data log temperature and we've got four science things all on one button right there um, for our secondary button here we'll go nine will be our communications we'll try to remember that nine will be our communications and that'll toggle the antenna there and to be able to access that we'll go with seven as being the bay doors so I'll hit seven and then nine to get an antenna seven will also close that again um, all right. Now we need uh, thermals to protect us when we come back into an atmosphere if we happen to launch out of an atmosphere with this. That's not the right one. On this one, I like to actually grid a line and then tap it, and it gives it that little extra space that makes it look like two separate units there, which I prefer. All right, um, landing gear. This gets kind of tricky. Probably going to want four of them. pretty much got to attach them to the pod above and then adjust accordingly except this isn't going to work on this axis so what you do for this is while you have your toggle snap uh, selected select your root part and then rotate and then you want to rotate it till you get these on the side Now you can go back to here to rotate again, hit that, and then you can uncheck the C so you can get these precise. But this will make them all line up even though you're on a weird axis. And I can uh, go in a little bit with them. down just a little then we can look at them closed up that'll do that'll do pig that'll do now to get this back you click on the root part again go to rotate you spin it up oh, nope I just screwed up um, Everything's going to be off now because I didn't hit the snap. It's going to be off. It doesn't look like it is, but it is. Shit. Oh well. All it too is going to be a little bit questionable. <laughs> All right, uh, we got the landing gear. We want to assign them to a, a, an action thing, although there is a button for it up here at the top that you can hit when you're in mission. I still like to assign it to something. So we'll give it uh, uh, five because we'll save six for a ladder and eight will be for uh, in thermals, you know, like uh, extending solar panels and stuff. Um, so it would be five would be for landing gear. Hmm. 
Another thing you can do is you can get into lighting. Although the, there is a, an overall lighting button that you can use, you can actually uh, control the lights from here. Uh, so I'm going to put I'm going to assign four to soft lighting and three to hard lighting. No, that's not what I wanted. Toggle lights, command pod. And if I did any spotlighting, I'd put that on three. All right. So now the Ala 2 pod is ready to go. We need to get it to launch. And we do that by uh, first adding some coupling. I think we're going to need the 18. No. Eh, I guess wrong that time, too. Coupling. Boom. Done. Now I want some uh, stability control. Which is this thing. Now I'm going to clip a fuel tank up over this because, you know, fuck it, I think it fits. That's the way I look at it. Um, should we try the hammer and see what that does? That's not going to get us into space. But we could double stage this. Um, do a flea. Toggle move. It could go up. Used to be that you had to do a bunch of struts and stuff for this stuff, but what I now what you do is you want to go to auto strut enabled to the heaviest part or root part. I want it to go root part for right here. Auto strutting means that this is just going to be much more solid, and it's something you definitely want to do. These landing gear are automatically auto strutted. Um, we want another decoupler, not the twelve. No, not the 18. It was the 12. Da, 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 da. All right, so we got the decoupler up there. Engine, decoupler, engine. Okay. Um, first off, let's. Uh, we need to. I know I'm gonna have to remove that. First, let's check our thrust to weight ratio this stage say at altitude 10,000 five point let's lower that thrust limit to there 2.3 a little bit higher than that 28 that'll work um, 1.65 thrust to weight at altitude. So if we can get this thing up to 10,000 meters, it's still going to be doing that. Um, Seven one point six three at ocean level to launch everything above it for forty two seconds and then thirty two seconds of the second one. This one this might not escape the atmosphere, but it's gonna it's, it should go pretty high. What other engines do we have here? Um, we could do those. Do kind of fuel tanks. Um, I think we just uh, go with this for right now and, and see what happens. Get a launch up into the air, get the science off, then just come back down. 
need uh, to get rid of this messages thing. I don't need four of those. One will be enough. Another, another little trick you can do is once you have all this set up is you can click on your root part click on rotate turn off the snap to function and then just ever so slightly rotate it that way and now it's going to naturally be inclined to launch out towards C it's going to naturally you know take off that direction I will have to do less tilting at the start because of that um, Valentina for this one we are equal rights. She will get the second lunch. She is, after all, an astronaut or a curbonaut. Uh, make sure that everything is set in order here. Shoots. Um, do I have enough shoots for all the stuff that I'm carrying? You know what? I wasn't sure about that. I I added a bunch of weight here and. I'm still going by the basic shoots. That could have been a disaster. Let me uh, adjust this. We'll do that this way. Um, where are the shoots? Utility. Get rid of those. Snap grid. Get two of those. I'm going to have to look at the thrust to weight ratio of everything now because I'm adding weight to the top here. Okay. So drone shoots first. Those are good shoots, which should be enough to carry, support all the weight that's underneath it. Now let me check the thrust tube. This is going to be at sea level, 1.58, or at altitude, 155. This is going to be fine. This will launch. Except are these going to be cockeyed now? Did they adjust to the model? Ah, I don't know. I bet it's going to be cockeyed. I bet it's going to fly weird and want to tumble. But I'm going to give it a shot. I'll let to save. All right, we're going to launch. Um, Valentina. Come on, lighter. All right, pre-launch check. T button. Turn on the SAS. Throttle up. All the way. Doesn't matter with these solid-state engines. I think uh, everything else is ready to go. That'll launch. Separate. Launch. Separate. Shoot, shoot, shoot. All right, you ready to go? You ready to go, Valentina? Yep, she's clapping her hand. She's ready to go. That was a little scary. Tilted just a little bit here. Not too much.
My surface speed is looking all right. You know, anything below 300 meters per second is not going to have too much atmospheric issues. And if you can get above 10,000, I'm not. I'm going to go for it right now, just to see how high we can get, how far we can go. What is our... What do I want to see? It's a way to show your... No. Oh, come on. Get out of this. that maneuver mode It'll show me the time to the apple four seconds three seconds to apple apps is the highest point I'm gonna get and then we might as well do our our functions now get the get all the science and stuff we can keep these experiments can't open these chutes until we're below a certain point and the speed is going to increase until then so I kind of have to wait till I start slowing down a little bit because I'm increasing now I'm going to slow down a little bit About 5,000 meters should be good enough to open these. Then when they pop, I'll do my secondary shoots. They'll pop open at 1,500. Oh, nope, 2,400. Those will pop open at a thousand. And you can control all that. There are settings that control your atmospheric, you know, at what altitude your shoots will expand. And luckily, this doesn't, you know, work like NASA and all that. And in that, these things work 100% of the time if you have them set up correctly. That in NASA, anything could happen, you know, and shoots have failed and caused problems. But I think that Valentina is going to be just fine here, it looks like. Um, we can turn off the stability assist and then we will naturally gravitate toward the lowest hanging position like that. We are actually falling enough that I can do this. EVA, get a crew report from the EVA, keep experiment, and then board. Sounds like the rockets just hit the water. There, I got a nice little EVA report out of that too. A little extra science. Science! You're the Neebs guys right now. Science! Absaro just woke up in his bed. Mumbled science. Because it is, uh, what time is it? Oh, it's 8.20 on a Sunday morning. So, this is my church. I'm going to Sunday morning church of science. And marijuana. Science and marijuana. What more what more do I need? Oh, I could speed this up a little bit when it gets down here. Because this could this could take a while. See it's even going pretty slow at this rate. When it gets under 100 meters, I like to hit the water at regular speed. 
this game has a thing called the Kraken, where weird weird stuff happens at higher speed, and you know the physics of this hitting the water at a higher speed. That's why they limit your time warp when you're in atmosphere to only four times the speed, because when you start getting to the higher speeds, you know weird stuff can happen. So it's better to do that on a cosmic scale than on a local scale. Still, Kerbal, Kerbal Launch 2 is a success. The ape-like aerospace. Nothing blew up. Nothing got my sleeve. We're farther out in the ocean, so I might be able to get a deeper deeper surface sample here. Yeah, 30 points, keep that. Try another EVA report. Nope. Um, I don't know, I think take the green one. Then we'll climb back in. And recover the vessel. Science! And a little bit of money, too. Alright, let's see if we can get farther into this tree here. Because I think there's, like, that one's a science one. And I think there's something over here, too. Yeah, this is a science one that we could use. So I want to get to this one. And uh, don't have enough. 300 points. I almost need this one because of these. And this is handy because of all these protective cones. I need to get to this one though. No new quests. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to relaunch Al Ala 2 here for real quick. No, this isn't a cheat, it's just way to get a little more science and from right here I'm going to hit the, the, the 10 button and get the science from the launch pad recover the vessel just got some new science Still don't think I have enough to, I need 300 to do that. Um, you can always go in here to your archives and look and see what you've done. I need to, I need to, I need to get that out of the atmosphere. That's what I need to do. So let's, let's work on that. Let's get something. The ALA 3. Go ALA 3. Then we're going to just do this. 
start fresh. Because I, di I, I didn't like the way I had saved some of those. Like, I think it was cockeyed in a weird situation. Um, put that parachute there. Get a pair of these. Cargo. something in the science tree real quick. That's the one I want right there. Probodyne, little guy. Is there a better one in here? There is. I'm going for this. I'm taking this one right now. Gonna help with the. Gonna help with the next craft with the Ala three. And I need a cigarette. All right. Um, their parachutes. I can get a heavy in here. Which one was the good one? This one. H E C S. Tell by the price too, I think. Yeah, four hundred and fifty goes up in price. Electrical. Wait, I have ex I got panels now. Three six or the six one. I want the one six. We're down two. a better way to do this. Just got to figure it out. Um, what kind of struts do we have? Too big. Solar. Wonder 
if I should uh, turn it inside. Yeah, that's not going to be bad, actually. Do it like that, sideways. All right, science. She provided me with science. She hit me with the mystery key. That was right. That wasn't. Two goos. Now what you want to do with them is right click on them and remove from symmetry. That way when you do the action bars we can do two separate groups. We have uh, group one which will do the crew report and this pod. Then we can have a second button, F9, do this pod. So we can do two different science setups with what we have and hopefully get two different altitudes out of this when we run them. Um, Two of them in there, remove them some from symmetry. Uh, temperature for that one. One temperature for that one. Two of them. Well, pressure data. This one. This one. Is there any more science that we could get? Those just those three, right? And the crew report. Of some sort. This one's going to be too big to plop in there now. One third above. Because that way, when these open, doesn't interfere with these. But still, they're going to have to come in a little bit because... And in order to do that, let's make sure we got this right. C button is done right. Hit rotate. Hit this. We want to turn it until those antennas are aiming straight at us. Like that. Now we select the item. We can 
move it perfectly in line with the do. Okay. Now, where I went wrong before was I did not turn back auto snap on before I moved anything. So I'm going to turn auto snap on now before I move anything. Now I want to line this parachute back up to the side here. Think like that. All right, back up here to the action bars. A button is going to be tennis. Seven button will be solar panels. Six button is going to be the box. Two sides that antennas, solar panels, service bay. All right, I think that's uh, that's good for that. Just need landing gear of some sort and uh, thermal protection. Now we do it again. Um, align our snap, make sure that that's set up before we move anything. We want to move it to where this uh, landing gear is right in front of us here. That. Now we can adjust this using the same tool. Helps to turn off the snap for this so you can get a precise exactly where you want it. Something like that. And you turn the snap back on. This is where I make my mistake. Turn it back on. Grab the middle part and move it to where the Parachute is back on the side again. Too far. Come on. There we go. All right. The Allah three capsule is ready, ready to go. I'm not going to even assign landing gear because I know there is a, a landing gear button that they've already been assigned to down here somewhere. Um, gear. Yeah, see, they're already on there. And that will have a button right up here that I can click. There's also a hotkey. I don't remember what it is, but I uh, don't need to remember because there's a button. Uh, it's the T12. Okay, now we're going to do things differently because we want to go higher. We're going to need actual, actual, what kind of, 
Did I get any better controls? Nope. I got this small cheesy one. Engines, tiny engine for space. That'd probably be the terrier. Vacuum thrust to weight on this is eh, not bad. 56 seconds at 1.57. I can try even lower that just a little bit. Here's where things get tricky. We just kind of want to add a bunch of these and see what we can do with that. Swivel, Reliant. Reliant is, uh, I think we want the swivel. It's going to be more power. A lot more power. 119. Barely enough to get off the ground. And it would have 100. And this is not enough to get into outer space. I think uh, I've got a cheat sheet. Let me look at this cheat sheet here for one second. I should have been prepared. Oh, it's right there. Yeah, I'm going to need, uh, just to get into outer space, I'm going to need uh, 3,000, no, I think 2,400 or something. But to get into orbit, it's going to be 3,400 milliseconds or of thrust, whatever this is, the delta V. So let's try something different. Try two of these, see what that does. That's a little better, a little more respectable. Actually, that's a lot more respectable. Um, Now, with all these parts, you're going to want to go onto each one and auto strut. So I'm going to auto strut to the heaviest part there, auto strut to the heaviest part there. That one can auto strut back. I want that one to the root part. That's fine. Root part. This off screen, I don't want it up there. Um, what kind of aerodynamics do we have? Basic fins. Uh, 
That'll work. I'm not even going to move them. But I'm going to rigid attachment to the heaviest part. All right, I bet this flies. I bet it flies. We'll see. Put a couple of these on here, at least one. Two. Down low. Just down there. And just for style. One up here. The ladder to get up there. Style points, you know. And now got everything set. We want to give this a slight tilt to turn off your snap. Just tilt it slightly to the side there. I've I think I've already done one, but I. There we go. Ah, uh, who's going to die? You know what? In keeping with tradition, I'm going to go find me a new pilot here. A new pilot for this launch. Um, Barley. Barley Kerman looks perfectly stupid and courageous. So we'll grab them. Welcome to the team, Barley. Save, Ella 3. Do I have everything set right? Launches. Doesn't show Delta Vs, but I know they're good. I just want to make sure that all the separations are right. Looks good. We'll give it a shot. All of three. Let's go. Ape like aerospace launch three. Watch out, Elon Musk. See, I got a couple more buttons here because I've got a better system in there. All right, um, thrust does have to be adjusted on this one because I will have control over thrust now. And we've already got a low thrust to weight ratio, so I want to full blast this off the start. Um, SAS is turned on, throttles are up. I think we're good to go. I like to manually verify that everything is set to staging. Looks good. All right. You ready, Barley? Ready to go flying into the ocean? throttle down ever so slightly just to I don't want my surface to airspeed to go over 300 while I'm below 10,000 meters
can start tilting a little bit. If I was actually aiming for orbit, I would be at a 45 degree angle by now. But I'm uh, just looking for altitude right now. I want to get as high as I can with this. Right now we're already on well, we're 25,000 apoapsis, so I want to get higher than that. I want to give these engines a throttle up to give as much altitude as I can out of them because those other engines aren't going to do any good until I get up there. Okay, we're going to get space. Let's try to get some forward speed here. Hell, I might even be able to get orbit out of this. Start tilting toward the horizon here to get forward speed. I can go to the map mode and actually look at this and see what kind of thrust I'm needing here. I'm not going to have enough burn time for any of that, so we can just cancel out of that. Go back to the map. Just get our forward speed now while we can, see what happens. we're already in space right now. In fact, I should cut the engines with X, then hit that one, get all the science I can get. Barley, you're going to do an EVA. Um, EVA report. Keep experiment board. Make sure you don't lose your helmet there because you will be screwed. And uh, now we can finish out our thrust. immediately go into retrograde because the next time you know we're gonna to want to be in, stay in retrograde all the way back down we're out of the atmosphere right now we have to go below 70k to start hitting atmospheric interference right now we're just free floating but we don't have enough forward speed to actually achieve orbit we are going to come back down we are coming back down right now, as a matter of fact. Um, I'm just going to let it go on the SAS. Right when we get inside the atmosphere, I'm going to hit the 9 button to get the second science from high altitude. I want to do that right below 70k. You're looking good, Barley. You're looking good. How does it feel to be the first Kerbal in space? We just picked you off the street, too. You didn't even have no long, extensive training hanging out in the, in the compounds. Looks like you're actually going to come down on land. We could have put a missile on you and attacked our neighbors over here. They might think this is an attack. We never know. F9 to get this, some science up here. Boom. Science. Let's let's land this barley. 
this is going to be difficult because we are we are probably going to land on this land right there. See this? We might overshoot it. We might, but it's going to start. This is going to start getting really short. The closer we get. I do have some good forward speed here that I'm going to start getting a little bit of burn too. That's going to slow us down considerably. I, I would like to overshoot the land. Landing on land is much more difficult than landing in the water. It because if you land on a weird slope or whatever, you could you could tilt and fall right down the hill. And I'm not doing anything right now. The SAS is controlling this. As long as you have a pilot at control. You'll have at least these basic controls, even if you're out of range of Kerbal, which I'm still in range. Yeah, it says it up here. I'm in range of Kerbal, 100% strength. Way to go. I think you've made it, Barley. I think you've made it. And you're going to hit water after all. Totally successful. For just a, a wing it operation. About 5,000 meters is when I'll pop the chutes. You can also look at above the, the ground. Um, there's a way to click on that. I forget what it is. It's right there. But since I know I'm above sea, I want above the sea level. Of science out of that. And maybe we'll get a rover going. But it's it's probably not going to happen in this video. I think I'm going to try to keep these at a reasonable length. So this is probably it for this one. You know, we've, we launched the space program and got to space with our first Kerbal, Barley Kerm in here. I think it's a female. I think I think Barley is a lady. It's a lady. Oh, there goes the rockets over there just blowing up. And there go my secondary shoots. As long as this ends up, you know, around four meters per second, you'll be fine. If you can withstand any landing. You could hit the, the surface and probably be okay without landing here. You can, if you're ever concerned about it, you can click, click on this and jettison your heat shield, which will lower your weight and make you drop slower. But I want the money back from that. I'm, I'm bringing it home with me. And then the next one, uh, gonna try to, you know, achieve orbit. We'd like to get that one down, because I know I've got a quest for that. And and this is gonna open up some quests, too, now that we've hit, you know, out into space. That we're gonna start getting a bunch of tourist quests, and we'll have to build a nice tourist ride, something that'll make it easy to launch those guys up and collect a bunch of money that way. And, you know, and th this is borderline sandbox, but it's still got a career money-making aspect to it. it it's, I, I do that because it gives me something to look, you know, the jobs are something to do, you know. You, they, they give you a goal to go try to achieve, 
if you have can't make your own goals they'll do it for you um, I do have a goal of setting up my own satellite system that will allow full coverage of remote you know remote control on things but from the dark side of you know get something going around the moon so that you can um, the moon so you can get the, the, the back side of that too and once you got the good communication network set up then you can start sending autonomous stuff that doesn't you know risk your Kermans and the way I have finances set up in this save you know I'll be able to keep on building the bigger and better stuff and but you still have to build it you still have to you know it you still have to perform the missions things could have went wrong here you know that if I had forgotten one step in all this I do have the ability to revert flights but I'm, I'm not gonna abuse that I'm, I think I'm gonna go with what happens when somebody dies they die I might use the revert situation like right when I launch I realize oh wait I should have done you know and then like before anything's even happened you know I might go back but but if if it gets to the point to where somebody's actually dead I, I'm gonna accept that and you know start a little graveyard but I love this game as the sun sets over there Farley comes timidly, timidly down to the earth it's not the earth though, it's uh, Kerbin. See my flag. There it is. Just for shits, see what we can do here. Um, sure, why not? Recover a vessel. Get all that fat science. Yeah, look at that. We got a thousand. Ooh. Bat science. We got two million coin too. But I'm not going to get into anything else. I'm not going to pick up more missions or spend the science. I'll do that in the next video. But uh, yeah, I'm going I'm to try to do a couple of these every once in a while. I love this game. I'm just trying to mix up my stream out there. And get some variety going, you know? So yeah, expect to see more of this if you liked it. I love the game, so I'm going to play it, so I'm going to record it. What the hell?